Hey, this is Mike from Music City. Uh, today we've got another installment of Looking for Records. I uh, am not in Music City. I am in the Lone Star State of Texas, and I'm about to head over to Cowtown, Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, there's a uh, very, very legendary record store there called Record Town. Uh, it was born in 1957, so that makes it uh, 63 years old. Uh, a very iconic institution, and uh, really uh, enjoyed reading a lot about their history. I've been there a few times before when they were downtown. I believe they were at uh, university, and as you'll see in the picture, they have a very had a very iconic uh, neon sign with the record town name on it. Uh, downtown Fort Worth, uh, you know, been renovated, and uh, they had to move to. Uh, different quarters and today will be my first visit to their uh, new location and uh, it's just uh, an, an amazing store uh, you know just a great great selection of vinyl as I remember focus on the blues Texas music and, and all ki all kinds of stuff um, and um, I'm, I'm excited to go there and I, I was doing some research and I saw that they're now on a street called St. Louis Street and which has been dubbed uh, T-Bone Burnett Boulevard. <laughs> uh, T-Bone, uh, strange enough, was originally born in St. Louis, but uh, moved to Fort Worth at a very um, early age and really weaned his teeth uh, on Record Town. So it was a big honor for both T-Bone and uh, Record Town to have that street named uh, T-Bone Burnett Boulevard. But you can't name a street after someone living in, uh, I don't know, in Fort Worth or in Texas. So uh, for now, it's just sort of an honorary thing on the top of the, the street sign, kind of neat. But, uh, you know, um, as I told you, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a few things today. Um, trying to buy records in the 70s that I missed. Uh, remember last I was trying to fill up my Cat Stevens collection. So I'm going to look for some Cat Stevens today. And I'm also really trying to find um, uh, some Bill, early Bill Withers records. I've been listening to Bill lately. So those are, those are the two things on my list. And also the other thing that I'm, I'm looking to get today, uh, one of my favorite authors is a guy out of Texas uh, named Joe Nick. Potowski, very funny guy, writes a lot about music, uh, had a radio show, and he's got a special book out about um, uh, something musical in Fort Worth history, and I'll, I'll fill you in more about that later. And uh, the only, Record Town's the only place you can buy it, other than it from Joe Nick directly online, so I'm looking forward to getting that book today as well, too. So uh, let's uh, hook up after we get back from my visit to Cowtown. Okay, here we are at the new Fort Worth location of Record Town. We'll tell you a little bit more about it later because it's kind of windy out here right now, but I'm going to go inside. See if they got any Cat Stevens. There's Cat's Ball of Fall, which we picked up. That's a new T for the Tillman. I'd much rather get the vintage one. That's not a good shade. Got that one. Ooh. That's a very nice shade. That time passage is by Al Stewart. I think we're going to pick that one up right there. That's a good one. Okay, Mike again. Hey, we're back from uh, Record Town. Look at the cool bag with the 1957 vintage, uh, the record store on it. So let, let's open up and, and, and take a look at what we got. Um, you saw me grab the record, which was uh, this really good looking copy of Al Stewart's uh, Time Passages. I like this record. It, the time tr title track is great. It's also got uh, this great song on the radio. Let's just take a look how it looks inside. I didn't even look at it on the inside. Oh man. Uh, Honorista. Looks pristine to me. I love it. I'm real excited to go home and listen to that. I've got Al's stuff on CD and just really have become a big Al Stewart fan lately and really nice to get these vintage uh, 70s records on vinyl. This was 78. So a good find there. Uh, the time passes. $10, by the way. Great price I thought on that. Now, the other thing I mentioned to you getting that Joe Nick Pikowski book, and uh, here it is. It's called the um, 
Ballad of Robert Ely and the Five Careless and his Five Careless Lovers. I know nothing about this, but everything I've ever read about Joe Piss Joe, by Joe Nick Potowski has just been fantastic. Very interesting and entertaining. Uh, I look on the back; it's got an ode to the Record Town Record Store uh, as being a place where you know this music, uh, you know, was bought and sold and discovered, and you know probably helped be cre created by you know discovering you know the uh, the classics. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, came with a free little little postcard, poster size. So uh, $20, uh, I believe, if you go to um, a website somewhere. I thought I saw a website somewhere. Uh, possibly you can find this out. Uh, if, you, if you Google Joe Nick Potaski, you'd find it. Um, boy, I wish I had more time to spend there. You, you can see the on the video that whole back wall with all of the framed posters and... Um, Pictures of famous Fort Worth musicians, sex musicians. Just a great selection of old vinyl and a lot of new vinyl mixed in there. I, I came close to buying the new Pretenders record on vinyl, but I uh, just didn't want to go there just yet. Um, and um, I wish I had more time to spend there. My wife was waiting in the car on me. I didn't want to keep her waiting too long. But I really enjoyed going there. And I, I'm looking forward to going back next time I come to Texas. They're real nice. Gave me a couple of stickers. Record, whoop, Record Town stickers, and it's also in there uh, somewhere. Uh, a Record Town guitar pick. I love collecting little guitar picks, and these would make great stocking stuff for around Christmas time from the guitar player friends of mine. But again, so that was looking for records. Record Town in Fort Worth. Definitely, if you're ever in the area, it is worth a visit. It is one of one of the one of the nation's best record stores. It's just a real classic institution. So, um, hey. If you uh, like listening to this stuff, we've been to now, I think maybe this will be the fourth or fifth record show we've been to. You can go back and look at those other ones. We've also got the Ranking Records series to look at, Grace Forgotten uh, Records. So look at those playlists down at the bottom of, my, of the Music City Mike YouTube page and you can see those. Please subscribe. The subscribers keep continuing growing. Trying to get to that magic 1,000 mark. Please help me get there. Like the video, uh, share it with your friends, and uh, keep on rocking.